Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a spring handbag guide review video for y'all. Since it's changing of the seasons, I thought I'd wet our palettes with a little bit of accessory love today. I've got all of my favorite handbags that I wear during the spring season. Some are old, some are new. I'll give you guys a lowdown on all of my favorites and I hope you guys enjoy. I'll include links to everything down below in the description bar in case you are interested. And everything in today's video is of course just my personal opinion. There are many awesome other bags out there, but these are just the core set that I've selected for myself this year. And if you guys notice, I don't have my low couch anymore. We actually sold the couch today, and I'm just using my little settee as a stand-in for now. But I actually think it looks pretty good. It actually probably looks better than my other couch. But anyway, we're starting to sell everything, and it's feeling great. So enough chit-chat. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna separate this into four different categories. I got tote bags, hobo bags, saddle bags, and a mini purse to show y'all today. Let's get started with some tote bags. For those of you that watch my channel, y'all already know. I gotta recommend the street level reversible tote bag from Nordstrom. I've got two different colors. I've got the cognac and black and then the baby pink and taupe, which is a new one this year. I love these bags so much. You guys have seen this on my channel many, many, many times. Few reasons why I love these guys. Number one, it's incredibly roomy. You can fit a computer, you can fit a notebook, you can fit all of your handbag essentials in there. The faux leather is some of the best quality faux leather that I've ever seen. It's super premium, it feels great, and then the actual straps themselves are very hardy. They've got the cutest color combinations, they've got a great variety of options, and of course each bag itself gives you two different looks. And then another cool thing is that they actually give you this little pouch with a little um, keychain, so you can tack it onto this little ring on the outside, and then just dump it on the inside just for some extra like organization, so that things don't get lost in this tornado of madness. <laughs> so I highly recommend these tote bags. They're great for everyday use, running errands, diaper bags, work bags. It's not only a great thing for yourself, but also a nice gift for a friend. And then the best part is that these guys only cost 48 bucks. So definitely on the more affordable side, especially for Nordstrom standards. And with the amount of times I actually use these bags, I mean, the per use cost is like, Tiny. And then my second tote bag, I just want to give these a really quick shout out just because I've had them for so many years. I've got two Longchamp Le Pliage shopping totes. I like these whenever I'm traveling and I don't have that much space just because they can fold up to this teensy tiny size and it's very lightweight. It comes with a leather strap and a leather flap that actually opens up and reveals the tote bag like these. And it also has a little pocket on the inside for just very light organization. They're incredibly lightweight, but they're also very durable. Obviously, I've had them for almost a decade, and I just think that the leather touches give it a more like upscale, preppy look. This little navy one I have is a small and runs about 125, and this pink one is a large size that runs about 150. Little tip, I actually bought these like off season when the colors were a little bit discontinued, so I got them both on pretty good sales. Moving on to handbag category number two, let's talk about them hobo bags. I've been wanting to do a review on this bag for several weeks now because I think it is one of the best handbags I've ever purchased in my entire life. I ain't playing people, I am not joking. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Isabel hobo bag. So first thing about this bag, when I first saw it online, I was of course obsessed with what it looked like, but I was really concerned about the weight. It looked like it could be a very heavy handbag, but to my surprise, this handbag was so lightweight, so I was super happy. The leather itself is a pebble leather, but it's very, very subtle. It doesn't have a lot of wrinkles, and the actual feeling of it is so buttery soft. Sometimes I think Rebecca Minkoff bags could be kind of thick and tough. This one is like completely opposite. Like if I didn't even know what the brand of the bag was, I would have thought it was like super high-end designer. Then if you look in the side of the bag, this is one of my favorite accents. I love the double channel strap that runs along the side of the bag, and then goes and interweaves into the wide a shoulder strap that provides a lot of relief and comfort whenever you're wearing it all day. I think it gives it so much extra edge and uniqueness. And then going back to the front of the bag, of course the first thing you notice about this guy is the big magdaddy tassels. You guys know I love my tassels, so this is obviously one of the first things that I was like, ha! 
the mother of all tassels. These are very, very soft. They're made out of the same leather of the actual bag. It's just a very cute 70s hobo accent that I think just makes this hobo bag like very elevated. I also really love the braiding detailing that holds the tassel to the bag. I thought that was super cute. And then you have a magnetic clasp so that it actually seals the bag so you don't actually have to like tie these together or anything. It's really just more for um, decoration. You've got two open pockets for your cell phone and miscellaneous things. And then you've also got a big zipper pocket in the back. Regular price is $325 and I got this for $275. I actually got it off of Neiman Marcus when they had some kind of promo deal and I was able to get $50 bucks off. So definitely love this bag. It not only has so much style but it's also incredibly comfortable. It holds all of my stuff and it's just a gorgeous looking bag. And you guys know I'm such a hobo girl on the inside so definitely biased towards something that looks the 70s. But yeah, it's just, oh, it's such an amazing bag. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a premium hobo bag. If this one is not in your budget, there is a secondary one I definitely want to recommend. This one I got earlier in 2015. This one is my joyous.com perforated hobo bag. And this one costs around $80. This is another one that I absolutely love. I think it's a little bit different just because it has a perforation, which is actually really perfect for spring. You got this cool secret hidden pocket in the front. And then you've got super long zipper pulls that kind of emulate like a tassel feel because you've got a lot of movement when you walk around. And then the inside holds a crap ton too. So definitely recommend these two for two different price ranges and some of my favorite hobo bag options for 2016. Handbag category number three. Let's talk about them crossbody saddlebags. Ah, I love saddlebags. I got really into them this year. Some of my favorite saddlebags, of course, are the Chloe saddlebags, but Mama don't got $2,000 to spend on one. The saddlebag I got is from Vince Camuto. This is the Izzy Tassel Crossbody Bag. I got this right when it hit the Nordstrom site. I was like, mm. I thought it was bursting with cuteness. And now it's like almost sold out everywhere. It's such a hot bag. I think one of the reasons why it did get really popular is because it does kind of look like a Chloe saddlebag. First thing you have on the front is a gorgeous blush suede. And then on the back, you've got smooth leather, which is really smart because if the suede was in the back, this stuff would shed all over your body all day and it would also stain the suede really easily. So I really appreciate that they did regular smooth pebble leather on the back and then you can still appreciate the gorgeous blush suede on the front. And you've got these really cool U-shaped cores that are threaded throughout the edge of the bag to give it almost like that whip stitch type of look. And then we all know what the shining star is of this bag. The tassel. Yes, tassel, yes. <laughs> I need to like go to like tassel rehab. I'm psychotic. You've got the matching blush suede tassel that's interwoven into this little um, gold like brass piece that gives it just a touch of shine. And then if you look on the side, I really like this accent. They actually start the strap down on the bottom and then it's interwoven into two different loops and then it comes up into an adjustable strap. All of this is smooth leather. Once you open the saddle bag, um, it's got a magnetic clasp and then smooth leather front here. The inside is actually very roomy for such a slim bag. It's only a couple inches wide. You've got a nice pocket in the front with the Vince Camuto uh, material lining and then a typical zipper pouch on the back. If you do need some extra hidden storage, another cool thing is that they've converted the back into a pocket itself and it also is held together by a magnetic clasp. So like if you're traveling or you need something near and dear, you can just slip that in the back and seal it shut. So obviously I love this bag because it's so adorable. You've got so many really on trend things about it. The suede, the color, the tassels, the shape, and then the U-shaped rings. I mean, it's just an all-in-one really cool statement bag. So my little blush baby here costs $250. Definitely a big purchase buy for sure, but definitely much cheaper than a Chloe bag that's gonna cost you at least $1,200 to $1,500. Now, if you are really set on a pink saddle bag, I recommend checking out OldNavy.com. I saw that they had a few pink saddle bag options. I'll link them down below in case you want a more affordable version that's a smooth pink leather saddle bag. 
And last but not least, my fourth category is going to be mini purses. I have one mini purse to show you guys. You guys have seen this on my channel for a few months now. Mini purses have been so, so, so hot this past year. It is a really cool, cute silhouette. And even though it's kind of small, it's actually very versatile. This one is my Michael Kors Extra Small Ava purse. And I got this on sale off Nordstrom. I think they were doing some kind of price matching deal. And normally it's about like $175 and I got it for only $110. It comes with a really cute Michael Kors keychain just to give it a little extra pizzazz. And then I just really loved this mini bag because it was very simplistic. It was very classic and elegant. And I can see myself using it for both upscale and casual occasions. You've got an adorable like rigid little hand strap right here with all the gold hardware. And then underneath the flap, it's actually kind of cool. You've got little snaps on the side of the bag so that you can expand it for some more space or you can keep it a little bit more condensed for a slimmer profile. The inside is actually surprisingly very roomy. You've got a zipper um, pocket in the back and then you've also got one long pocket on the front. All of the super basic essentials would fit in here. You've got a magnetic clasp and then on the back, they utilize the back space for another um, pocket. Now for the crossbody, I think this is pretty typical but I really appreciate it. It actually is an adjustable crossbody strap and it also actually detaches so that in case I want to just carry the little baby bag itself, I can. I'll typically wear this strap when I'm going out partying and I need to be hands free or if I want to go for a really cute demure ladylike look, I can just have the bag by itself and it's actually big enough for me to put it on my elbow like this. Well, not like this, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I got this in a classic black since it was my first mini bag. I wanted something that was just plain and simple, but they also come in a lot of fun colors too. All right, guys, so please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed these fashion slash accessory guide videos and want more in the future. I'll include links to everything mentioned below in today's video down below in the description bar for you guys to check out. If you're not a current subscriber, be sure to click the subscribe button and join the Miss Louie family. I plan on doing a spring shoe and spring fashion essential guide videos too, so please be on the lookout for that. I love you guys to death. I'm sending you so much love this Sunday morning, and um, thank you guys again for all the support. If you haven't caught up with me lately, make sure to check out my last two videos where I kind of talk about what um, big changes are coming up in my life. So thank you guys for sticking by me all the time. I love you, and have a beautiful day. Love you guys, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye! Mwah.